Uh, what do you see net a month? So we have you down to 63K gross, but what would you say your net income is, what you see inside of your bank account? Probably only like 3000 Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought about, th I thought about $3,000. All right, cool. Almost, not even quite, yep. Yeah. So if you're seeing less than $3,000 a month, I need you to sit down with a financial advisor and yeah. we need to figure out number one, on how, how do you um, properly, um, uh, hold on a minute, I'm sending a note here. How do you properly figure out, um, how, how do you properly figure out how to claim correctly so you can get more of your money back throughout the year? That's the very first thing. Because if you're making $63,000 gross, right? Divide that into 12, you should be seeing 5250. Uh, gross. So it's, if you're only seeing half of that at two, at two thousand nine hundred, two thousand eight hundred dollars, th that means we're fouling something wrong, right? And then out of that, yeah. are you paying? Like, are you doing four one ks and investments and stuff out of that? Okay. Yes. Okay. How much are you giving for your four one k investment? I brought it down. It was like seventeen, eighteen percent one time, but like twenty twenty, I had to bring it down. So it's at only like at six. Okay. But I have been um, contributing to like employee stock purchasing plan. I started that somewhere between 2020 and 2021. I found out I had like 130 plus shares in the company. I work for Capital One. Okay. Yeah. So Stop. I don't know what to do with them. Stop. Stop. You you need more. You, you the problem that we have with you is income. The problem that we have with you is your sho your shovel size. You literally just said at the beginning of the show that, hey, man, I don't, I'm not making enough money to pay, right? Yeah. And so what I want you to do is your 401k, what are they matching? What's the percentage that they're matching? Um, 401k uh, Capital One will match up to 6%. Up to 6%. So that's what you're investing right now, right? Yes. Cool, great. All right, leave the 6% in there. Stop investing into the other stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, respectfully asking this question, what's your age? 45. You look young. I thought she was about like 32, 33. Go ahead there, Miss. Go ahead. And she looking good, y'all. Put put in the chat. Put in the chat, y'all. She look good. Put in the chat. She look good. Um, and so here's my suggestion for you. Number one, we need to get with the financial advisor to properly know how you can properly claim, you know, to, to keep more of your money throughout the year. Because with the numbers you just gave me, you're probably getting a check back every year for your taxes. Um, and so I want you to keep that money throughout the year. You're not getting nothing back? Well, it depends. That's a whole another story. Yeah, it depends. Oh. Sometimes. Sometimes. All right, cool. So let's make sure we're properly claiming so we can keep as much money as we possibly can. That's number one. Number two, we do need to get your shovel size up. Uh, banking, I love banking. Um, I've even done some work with Capital One, not on the credit card side of things, but yeah. and some other things that they've done stand by them. I, lo I love what they're doing um, in certain areas, right? Uh, so this is no knock against Capital One, but right now we do need to get your income up. This is why if you're saying you have customer service experience, I would highly invent, I would highly advise you to look into Yellowtail because Yellowtail is literally something similar to that. And if you're in banking, that means you have computer skills and, and you know the basic stuff of computers. With Yellowtail, within nine months, by this time next year, you can be you can go from making six three thousand dollars to about ninety thousand, a hundred thousand dollars next year, using the skills that you have. With you know how to talk to people and customer service, you have computer skills. You're only working in cloud in the cloud area, so this is no techie, smart you know coding yeah. stuff. This is just helping people get into the cloud software business on the business side of things. And so I would schedule, if I'm you, I would schedule an interview with them uh, and see if that's something that you would like. Now listen, for me, for you right now, it's about getting your, your, your shovel bigger. We need more income. We need more income. So you have two, three different options here, right? The very first thing is that $63,000, I'm trying to figure out how much of that net can we keep. So for you, what I want you to do, tell me the truth. Are you budgeting? Yeah. I I, it's all good. I get it. I understand. And most people don't budget. Thank you for being honest with me. So if I'm you, I'm going to get on a budget. 
and I'm gonna go look at the last three bank statements that I did, and I want you to look at every single thing that you have going out. If you got Hulu, Netflix, and all this kind of stuff, look, I just saw your eyes. Don't look back up, because I just saw your eyes. I, I need you to delete, keep one. I need you to look at where's your money going. Try to figure out exactly where's your money going and how can you give yourself more of your money back. Then from there, what we need to do is figure out what extra job can we get on the side or what can we do on the side as a side gig, a side business until we can do a complete career shift. And for you, what I'm sensing, I think Yellowtail will be a great fit for you. Uh, because I don't really know if you want to get into coding and technology stuff at 42, um, but Yellowtail definitely falls in line with the customer service side of things, um, and you're really helping people and having an honest conversation. So I, I would definitely look into that. What is the $30,000 in debt? Credit cards. And? Credit cards. And what else? Credit cards. Uh, I said some more time. You got to have like student loans. You got to have like a car. Oh, we haven't included student loans. So I haven't included car payment. I got like $8,000 left on my car. My car. No, see, not, not, now listen, this, this thing be, it, this thing, y'all be pissing me off. Y'all know when I say consumer debt, you gotta give me all of that. Okay. Not just $30,000 in credit card debt, but you're in $30,000 in credit card debt by your, Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so let, let's let's go down. Lord Jesus, thirty thousand dollars in credit cards. Yeah, I'm not proud of that. Um how much you have in car? Only eight thousand dollars up on my car. My car eight K on the car. Yes. And then what's you got how much how much in student loans? Probably thirty, like twenty five or thirty. Twenty five K in student loans, okay. Any private loans out there? No. Any buy here, pay here? I mean, buy now, pay later. Klarna, all that kind of stuff. Oh, Klarna is oh, Lord. probably $100. It's probably $100. Just $100. I don't, you know, I'm not doing all that. No, I try to keep it down to a bare minimum because really, I know how to get out. Mine is the shovel. I just need the money. I know how to get out. No, and can, right I, now is, can I tell you something else, your problem? Can I tell you something? Yes. You sure? Sure. You ain't going to be upset with me, are you? No. You sure? I appreciate you. No. You know I love you. No. <laughs> You make $63,000 a year and you're $63,000 in debt. And that doesn't include a mortgage. Half of that is in credit card debt. So your biggest problem is not just your shovel, it's you spending. That's just being respectful. Yeah. And, and, and you said something to me that, and again, I love you. Thank you so much for being honest and vulnerable and I'm, I'm, I'm going to take good care of that, but I'm also gonna be honest with you. You said something that a lot of people say. I think you got twenty five, thirty thousand dollars in student loans. I think I'm around eight thousand. Oh. No, no, no. You should know. Like you know, what I'm saying like we if 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 we're going to build wealth, all y'all watching. This is not not my sister here watching right now. But if we're going to build wealth, we have to know what is the exact obstacle in front of us that's preventing us from doing that. What are the steps that I need to take to get there? And if you can't tell me I got $31,332.14 in student loans, you don't know what it takes to get there. We're estimating. So what I need you to do today, I need you to pull your credit report and write down on paper all of your expenses, all of your expenses, all of your debt. And then on paper, I need you to list all of your income. As a matter of fact, you need to go to anthonyoneal.com and you need to get my Wealth Builder Toolkit. It's ten dollars. You got it. Yeah, go I get it. I brought it. I thought okay. I brought that, but I'll look into it. Yeah. No, I did. I checked my car payment last month. So I ain't say I, car I payment. Checking. That's the problem with us. You know, student people. loan. I was getting there. That was probably like January. No, you need to know all that now. True. I'm serious, sis. You need to know I'm all of that. I'm serious, too. Yes. I'm with you. I'm serious. Today, yeah. go get it, right? You need to know everything that you have. And watch this. It's going to make you even more frustrated.
you're going to feel stressed when you see that number. But you're also now, you, you also just put yourself in, in a position to know what you need to do exactly to get out of that situation. But that's, I really want you to know this. That's scary. Think about this. You're 63, you make $63,000 a year gross. You owe $63,100. Half of that is in credit cards. I don't want to ask you what you put on your credit cards. I don't want to know. I don't, I don't want to know. Because I, I see your hair. Your hair look good. Your hair, your hair. Your hair look good. <laughs> She's laughing like, please don't ask. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure when you step out at 42, are you single? 45, yes, I'm single. 45 years old, she's single. I know when you step out, you looking good. I know the hair going to be right, but the nails going to be right, the makeup going to be good, the clothes is going to be fitting you right and tight. Guess what? I just started wearing makeup. I used to not wear makeup, but no, for real, Anthony, I'm over it. No, that's always, that's a must, but for real, I am. I'm over it because I done been through this before and got myself out of there. You know, I'm tired now, though. So I'm over. I'm over. I'm Ashley, over speak louder than words, darling. What we got to do now is we got we to gotta get your shovel up, but you got to stop borrowing. Okay. That's the very first thing. Ooh, can I ask you a question? Sure. And I love you too. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, so, would you borrow? I uh, know. Let me say this. Would I, I know borrow? You always stress. I know because you always stress. Don't borrow anything else. You always stress to stop borrowing. So you wouldn't take anything out of you wouldn't take out like a home equity line of credit to get out of debt? Hell no. If you're struggling, like I mean, sometimes nope. I feel like I'm a sinking ship over here. Well, you are right now. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's hard. But but respectfully, we put ourselves there. True. But I don't want to stay here. <laughs> right. But what you don't want to do is rob from your future. Right. You know what I'm saying? So to so to take out equity in your home to pay off debt, no ma'am. No. Now what you could do, how much is your home worth? Two hundred and fifty. How much do you owe on it? Six like sixty about sixty five thousand. Okay. So you got an option. You can sell your home. At 45, I wouldn't be opposed to you selling your home. You sell your home, you pay off all your debt, you're good. We still have a problem. We still have a pr big problem. You. Like, like, could you, like, if you sold your home, paid off your debt, went and got into maybe a, something small, like a condo or something like that, you know, uh, because I think at 45, are you trying to have any more kids after, you know, at this age of your life? I don't have any children. Of course. Yeah, I want a child. I want a child. Then, you need, you, then you're going to have one. I mean, if that's what you want, you're going to have one, right? Yeah. But I really want you to think about your position. What I'm trying to get you to see is half of your stuff is in credit cards. So this means that you are a spender. We all, either, we're either a spender or a saver. I am a saver, right? And so my wife would probably be upset with me because I'd be like, hey, babe, let's just save yeah. that money. <laughs> you I'm know what I'm saying? Saving. Yeah, I'm over there. So you're over the spending. Cool, great. Yeah. So, I mean, you have that option to where you can sell your house and pay off all your debt. I don't. There's not a problem with me on that part. But if you only owe sixty five thousand dollars on a home, I would keep that home because that's just equity. Right. And then when you get married, get you a good man. Y'all rent that place out. Go get a different house. No, I think right now, yeah. number one. Get on a clear budget and figure out exactly where you are. I want you to go back and watch the show that I did on Monday. Um, watch Monday's show where I break down my earn philosophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. There you I go. I watched it three times. There you go. So I think you need to go back and do the earn. Evaluate, you know, where you are financially. Literally write that down. While you're evaluating, figure out, okay, where can I take out things? for a temporary season so I can get control of my finances. Do not borrow from your 401k and your investments. Do not take out a, a HELOC so that way you can pay off your debt, no. Because you're not really paying you off your debt, you're transferring it. So your mortgage payment's gonna go up. It's gonna be the same thing, right? And so just get on a proven plan, which is work the debt snowball, get your income up, look into Yellowtail, 
Go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash yellowtail. Look at the website and see if this is something you could do. And I would try it out. Give yourself two years of just really getting that income and stop borrowing money. You got to stop. You, you, you got to stop. But you're doing great. I believe you're going to do it. I was only borrowing money because there was a shortfall. I am or was a spender too, but I was borrowing because there was a shortfall. I took a $40,000 pay cut. So yeah, a $40,000 pay cut is real. That's real. Yeah, that's a lot. I came from Bank of America, and then I went to Capital One, but yeah. I appreciate so, your help. I'll figure I'll figure that out. You know, I will really figure that out. And and if you and if you really want me to help you walk through all of that, um, um, I have no problem bringing you on to the show to where you can drive up here. We're in Alexandria, Virginia, and you can come down and we can look at all of your stuff together um, and put you on a good proven plan. You just have to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash build. Um, fill out the application. And any of you all who are watching it right now, if you all want to come on and and have me help you sit down and write out a proven plan for your money, uh, you can go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash build. You do gotta come into the studio. We will record it. We won't release anything that's too personal that may be personal slash embarrassing, uh, but we will show the world like, hey, we're helping people out um, and you come in. So fill out that fill out that information. Uh, Michelle will get back to you. Uh, but sis, I'm praying for you. You're gonna be all right. <laughs> 